Okay, guys, welcome to this PlayStation State of Play reaction podcast broadcast thingy majiggy bob. We're expecting some PlayStation 5 announcements and obviously some PlayStation VR 2 announcements. Now, um, I cover both things on different channels, so I guess I'll have to figure out a way to do this in such a way that it fits both audiences. So what we will do is we'll probably have the front part be the same where we just look at all the things and then the reaction parts to particular things will be appropriate for each channel. Now what you won't be getting at this presentation, first and foremost, is Bloodborne. Not going to happen. It's now 11.32, so it should have finished by now or so, but I haven't seen it yet. You won't get no Bloodborne, no PS5 remaster, nor a PC version. So forget that, that's not going to happen in this announcement. You're not going to get anything about Black Ops 6. I can't believe there's 6 already. I thought it was on 4 last time. Whoever it is. Because that's an Xbox thing now, isn't it? So that's not going to be... I think maybe you'll get a trailer or something, I don't know. And then, you're probably not going to get a full-blown PlayStation VR 2 PC announcement necessarily. Although, they do. there has been news about the adapter now being officially registered in certain countries and what have you and you won't get Resident Evil 4 VR for PC or what have you and you're not going to get GTA 6 either so what will we get then or what are we hoping to see at this event heck any cool new games would be good because they said this was going to be a dry year for PlayStation uh, it takes longer to make games and they've done all their big hitters already so a lot of this is going to be third party stuff Unfortunately, I'm expecting most of the PlayStation VR 2 stuff to be that will be announced are probably going to be things that are on other systems anyway, so I'd be surprised if we have any PlayStation VR 2 exclusives. And I'd be surprised if we have anything we haven't seen or hasn't leaked already, although I've tried to avoid a majority of late leaks, so to speak. I don't have any, anything against such a vegetable, but you know. <clears throat> so, without further ado, do we'll have timestamps. Let's, uh, let's get on with this, shall we? We don't need the tower countdown, do we? Just need to, to get in there. I've got the chat turned up because these chats are usually people doing sleeping symbols when they're um anything that's VR. It looks like it's finished already because it's acting like it's been finished, which is interesting. So it's not a very long show, as promised. Oh, we're in 4K as well, by the way. But it will be 1440p delivered. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, they did another countdown? Or did I just go backwards? That's lame. We're just, this is why we wait till they're finished. So we can do this. So let's see how it goes. I'm trying not to highlight any spoilers, eh? I want to be astonished. But that is going to happen. Hi, everyone. I'll get out of the way for a moment. Kizzlebash. Head of product at PlayStation Studios and head of PlayStation Productions. I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Studios family. The new Bio. CEO. Huh? This team brings together oh, some of the most studio. talented developers in now? our industry with an incredible pedigree in the online multiplayer space. We announced their first game, Concord, last year. And today, they're revealing gameplay captured in engine on PS5. But first, here's an extended vignette introducing some of the cool characters you'll find in the Concord Galaxy. Let me know what you Enjoy. was hoping or to be announced for this show as well, guys, in the comments below on our respective channels. We're starting off cold with some multiplayer thing. Problem with multiplayer is you need friends, or it's better with friends. Come on, let's check it out. Intercept Blue Buddy, Northwest Crew, Rexus North Star Crew. Uh, hmm. This is all in engine, apparently. Does this look in engine? A few months earlier. Wow. It was a spontaneous this is... creative decision made after years of careful research. Can you see an really old and almost dying a bunch doesn't count as research. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Besides, it worked, didn't it? How much longer for the upload? Uh, a few more minutes. Hey, start time. Try it with hot sauce. You'll like Put it. Put him, Sam's up. Oh, no, no. 
Do not trust him. Oh, where is this coming from? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, trust guess, me. We're are we going to see the gameplay? We'll stick to the plan. We can do this. And then that. Oh. <laughs> this is like CGI or what have you. In engine CGI. Plan. Right? Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. If we don't leave with this blue hey, Mar, we will. We will. And it's good animation and faces. I'll be waiting outside. Looks clean. Uh, no one moves. Bounty on us? We'll be taking this off your hands. What? Oh, thieves. This? Funny. There we go. I'm getting um, Guardians of the Galaxy vibes with this one so far. Copyright, copyright, copyright. So wow. Is that a tracker? Where's the rendezvous? I didn't catch that. Copy that, Bill. Damn. Shield out. Granite back. Well played. Fine. He only got one of my legs. But how are those hands? How many legs does she have? Whoa. How bad is it? This is a multiplayer game, right? Lennox! Got him. At least he hasn't got any cheesy rap music. It's really annoying when they keep using cheesy rap music for these um these kind of multiplayer games. I'm assuming they said multiplayer game, right? Fire Sprite, was it? Oh, I want one of those. Damn. Oh. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want one of those. This would be a very dishonorable way for us all to die. Hey, no didn't that guy just blow us up? Nobody's dying dishonorably. And also, we're bringing this back with us. Hey, 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 Mark. What are you doing? Getting us to the rendezvous point. Oh, boy. <laughs> Perhaps we should have let go also. One off. Do not dare. Well, we were supposed to stick together. If you let go, I swear I will bring oh, vengeance. Oh, look, there they are. I'm going to bring vengeance. What the? God. Glad you avoided a dishonorable death. <laughs> Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Or something. I knew this was gonna work. It's, it's, this wasn't the plan. No, it just wasn't the one we started with. Dialogue's not bad. I mean, it's not. All right. Another satisfied customer. It's not super cheesy like all these things can be. Ooh, yeah. So do you like carry it around with you for emergency bland situations or whatever? Hey, Mar. Hmm? Don't joke about something like this. Oh, Our next source. job is somewhere with less scaffolding. No scaffolding. Source. Zero scaffolding, I, I promise. We were apart for so long, I, I thought I'd never feel your fiery embrace again. You sound ridiculous. Okay, I mean... Honestly, if that was a single-player adventure, I'd be down. I mean, it's... um. It's ha it didn't have any cheesy hip hop music, you know. I'm at the at the I'm at the man. 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 Oh god, I can't stand the amount of times they introduce multiplayer games now in these things that they end up ever either a looking exactly like Fortnite, and they have the cheesy ass music, cheesy ass rap, generic rap music. So I didn't have any of that, and the dialogue wasn't too cheesy or anything like that as well. But that wasn't gameplay, so it was just a, it was just a movie, wasn't it? But if the world, and that it would be interesting, as a, but it's not a single player, so what am I even talking about? Why am I even, you know? Concord is a 5v5 first-person shooter set in the vibrant sci-fi so, universe oh, here we of go. The Concord the Galaxy. In Concord, from the moment you log on, you are part of the crew of the North Star. Five v five. A group five. of guns for hire known in our galaxy as free gunners. See, free now gunners are those lucky enough to be free to roam the stars. They take high stake jobs on worlds. Of See, I'm gonna be honest with you now. As soon as it was come five v five, this was more interesting a pitch as a single player game to me personally. 
Now that it's a 5v5, it's like, oh, it's like an Overwatch type thing or an X Defiant type thing or, a, a, you know, so many of them. But all that lore and story now is like, okay, we don't, we, we, that whole, that whole video was pointless because that's not going to be the bulk of what you're experiencing. It's going to be you just shooting five other people with skills. Across the wild space where they face other fiercely it was competitive so, so well made. crews. For the most Here's part. the very first look at the gameplay of Concord. And Concord. then look at the visuals in comparison. It's like nothing. Free gunning. Even close. It's hard work, but it's our work. I mean, it's still and nice visuals, but... Granted. I don't know, I'm this point. Being a free gunner means... Well, you're free. Let's get ready for the emotes. Right on, celebrations. Yeah, you better run. Five bucks. Free gunners have a shot at making something else. Ten dollars. A chance to be someone. And is it pay to win and all that kind of stuff? Is it basically Valoron? Yeah. Need a second to fix myself up. Yeah. yeah, well. I mean, we know that Sony is desperate for a, a um loss of live service games. Because apparently these are the only things that make money. If Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is struggling to make enough money, as an excellent as it is thus far, then there's no hope for our single player people, is there? You guys would stop buying some damn games. I blame Game Pass. We risk so yeah. Lives every day to do the job. I'll clear the way. It's just, it's just, you know, it's another one of these. Show them the big guns. That's me. I mean, it, it looks fine. This crew visually, it, it visually appeals to me more than Take any job. Valoron. And any enemy. At least it doesn't feel like a cartoon. You know, like a, a Overwatch and Valorant are like cartoons. But this, it doesn't look Call of Duty, but it doesn't look like a cartoon either. It looks like a bit of an in-between, which is nice. But that story oversold the, oversold the lore and the characters, because you're not going to do anything like that in this game. You know? So that's the only disappointing part for me. But it might be fun, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The crew is gathering. What do you guys think? Join us for game night. With Concord, Drop we your on thoughts the strength and background of our team to in the comments below balanced FPS about that feels great to play. Concord. We focused a ton I'll of our attention apart the and our tech segments. on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, precise visceral shooting, and expressive abilities. We ended up finding ourselves influenced a lot by fighting games and even strategy games. And the yeah, interesting looks, way that looks. the asymmetry of their characters makes every fight, every matchup feel really different. Leaning into the asymmetry of the characters, That's, really pushing the possibility fine. space of two different characters colliding. It's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way and let players find their own magic. We also have abilities mm. that are meant to have impact beyond direct combat. Deployable gear that can persist throughout a full game. So whether that's multiple rounds of a mode, or multiple respawns across a match. That's there are healing like, pads, oh, bullet block domes, explosive traps, yeah, lane blocking one. walls, or all kinds of ways to support your team. I suppose it's Overwatch. No way there. Coordinated teams can set up and plan ahead. And Which game where, is it? Happens, players can shift the battlefield to their advantage. Where you? We've got everything from oh, mystics, 5v5. And, medics, and you keep respawning. Because Phantom you don't respawn, do you? Every character brings their own unique personality, skills, and wide-ranging perspectives to the crew. Every week, when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters oh, off the job. That's the they story will feature pop. ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters' stories and relationships okay. and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? We're excited this Why year not? that we'll be hosting a pre-launch beta in July, followed by Concord's global it's launch fine, PC. on August 23rd, 2024. This is your live service games, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoy it in the future. Eh, I ain't got nothing against it, I'm just not. It looks like if I was going to play those type of games, it would be in my style probably in terms of visuals and stuff. But, you know, it's a warm, warm start. No YouTube face for that one. Oh wait, let me do a YouTube face for it. There we go. That's the thumbnail picture. PC got the War Ragnarok. There we go. That's early, isn't it? Has that been out a year now? Two years? Yeah. 
I can't remember when that came out. Like a calm and reasonable person. I still haven't finished uh, this. A calm and reasonable I gotta be person. careful, I was gonna search, but I could get spoilers as I'm playing. Well, this game has been excellent so far anyway, really so this will definitely be one to buy on the PC, guys. Easy. War is coming. Let me see when it came out again, though, if I can risk it. November 2022 says so two years. That's about their average, actually. So this is not surprising, maybe. Since we already had uh, the first one. So we knew this was coming. Ooh, that's nice, though. I haven't finished it, but I want to try on. But I want to play on PC instead. Sometimes I do that. We have guests. But I love the I love the God of War series, boys. So, yeah, if you haven't played them, definitely play them. They're amazing. Obviously, the the newer ones, these newer ones, are slightly different. But I feel like, you know, in terms of more cinematic. And then this shot down the moon. Yeah. It's too long to wait for me, probably. There's not much to say about that, is it? It was expected. Is this Assassin's Creed or something? Is anyone excited about... So, oh, Soldiers yeah. and officials alike oppress the people. Are you guys going to get God of War? I can on PC. Let me know. I think you should get all the God of Wars on whatever system because they're they're great games. So yeah, there you go. For personal gain, and the it's people it's must it's turn to thievery for food. No, it's not. Perhaps this is heaven's way of lamenting the state of the land. Uh, I think this is going to be um, men are powerless at the feet of the divine. I'm getting. But even so, I don't know why. Must act. For a moment, I was thinking there'll be something big announced in this show, but now I'm starting to think it's not going to be the case. It's like Omi no Shiroria 70, 17. It's kind of dope, actually. Though. It looks like Omi no Shiroria. Omi no Shiroria, is it? I mean, each show, I mean, not sure where is. Like, but I don't know what number they're on. They got like about a thousand of them. That Mega Force, I thought it was like, isn't that Capcom or something? That, I guess not. No, it, it wouldn't be that because it would. It wasn't one. Do you get one hero in that? Oh, it is Dy Dynasty Roy. That was close. Okay, 2025. It's not going to be a PS5 exclusive though. It might be a console exclusive. That's going to be everywhere though. So. Mama. Oh, here we go, something for the kids. And the, and, the, and the girlfriends. And the waifus. We were really so transported to Miraland! <laughs> the path of a stylist is never easy. So, are you is this ready for it? Is this coming out already? Ready! ready. Isn't this about... Hmm. She changed into a cat. I don't even know what to say. At least it's not as dry as um that Starlight Valley one where you don't do anything. Other than collect collect shit. This isn't you know, like maybe check this out, you know. If I wanna be an anime girl. How many of you guys are excited about this? Taking pictures of like cute things and wearing cute dresses. Maybe this is infinite. Infinite Nick is definitely meant to be for girls, isn't it? You who pursues infinity, or is infinity awaiting you? It got so dark, it had to lag. Because it got so dark there. Oh, it's actually like... Yeah. Wait, we have to do some pausing. I think it's because it stopped. I might have to refresh. The problem with refreshing is... Spoilers! So I don't know. I have to figure it out. All right, yeah. Let's pause a second. Let me figure this out.
Stars. We're back. Stars. Stars. Is this um? I have seen. No, it's not Elden Ring DLC. So is it? Nope, definitely not. <laughs> Until the towering shadows vanished into the mist. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't let my 4K. I might have to drop the 4K. I should have reset my router. Router? Router? Because this is going to be goofy. Alright. Let's pause that. Vanished. Let's try again. This time in the Chrome. Me and. I Looks like it's gonna lag again though, what was this? But all that came were inferior Going to the shades. spirit realm? This one looks Why interesting. Do we have to bear the consequences of such power? This one looks interesting. War. Mortality. These essences shall not fall Very from software Wow, he's actually fighting with a kid on his back. This one's interesting. This one's interesting. As I burst under my breath. Wow. I hope it's not end up being like a random 5v5 multiplayer or something garbage ish. Wow. Remember. No matter what happens, we did not betray this world. Ballad of Antara. Okay. Okay, I don't think that's a PS5 exclusive though. 2025. Uh, but that was one of the surprise highlights, I suppose. I'm back on State of Play to introduce more exciting titles coming to PlayStation, starting with a highly anticipated PvP shooter playable soon on PS5. I know, I know, you guys like PvP shooters. Uh... Oh gosh, don't tell me it's... No, that's DC, isn't it? The Suicide League thing. NetEase, that's a Chinese company, isn't it? Oh lord. This is another 5v5 thing, isn't it? This is, um... So this is basically Overwatch with Marvel. Am I wrong? I mean, it looks alright. I feel like... Oh, wow. You destroy buildings, though. Oh, look, this got building destruction. That's pretty cool, though. Alright, building destruction. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I mean, you know, Marvel's not as exciting as it was 10 years ago. But uh, this looks kind of cool if you like Overwatch type games. I think I saw some gameplay of this actually. I just don't. Oh, wow, what was that thing? Held the roof up. They've certainly got the characters for that kind of. Um, kind of Overwatch thing. And then there's a random anime at the end. Are we meant to be excited about that character? I don't know who that is. And, that, and that's meant to be a tease. I don't know who that is, so I'm like... Okay. Let me know your comments on that one, I guess. Um... Ooh. This looks more like it. Get my arm out of the way. This looks more like it. Oh, what is? Is this something that's out already? Neo... Uh, 2 Premium Edition. Or, uh, what's that other one they came out with? It's DLC for something, isn't it? Oh, wait, is it Ghost of Tsushima 2? Perchance. No, it can't be, because that's not the character. We're lagging all over the place. Oh, he's doing so well. That's not the character. I haven't finished Ghost of Tsushima yet, so that 
you know. We're always trying to guess before they tell us, aren't we? Where wins meet. It's very similar to all of those games, though, right? In development for PS5. Is that exclusive? They would have said, wouldn't they? Um. Hello, friends and fans. I'm yeah, let me know when you're forcing everyone. Welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood. Oh, this is getaway. thingy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um. Nice one. You can't Until dawn? Is it? Is this, is this just a PC version? I thought that came out already. The PC so version didn't come out yet. That we're all still here together. Uh, Why did I thought this was on PC a while ago? And this is a sequel, not a sequel. Nah, same one. Yeah. Let's make this one trip. We will never forget. Yeah. Are you guys excited about this coming out on PC? This was not on PC already. I feel like you could you could stream this on PC via PlayStation now. And I don't know, I thought it was on PC already. Anyway, any you guys excited about this? I'm not <laughs> excited about it. We're gonna, it's just, you know... I watched it played about seven times before I had a PlayStation 4. Didn't have a PlayStation 3. And, um, you know. But it's a good game. As, as games, as reactionary time, um, timed event games go. Some interesting story stuff, but, uh. They weren't lying when they said it was going to be a bit of a. You know, I miss E3. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I miss E3, like Path of Exile 2. Uh, it's got one of the most impressive customization systems, but and you know, like tweaking your playstyle in there. But the only thing I've always said about these kind of games is it's so it's just about destroying everything on the screen, it's just fireworks on the screen, it's no challenge. It's just experimentation. All the AI as enemies run at you. You know, I don't know. I think they look, they was these kind of Diablo style games, those look beautiful. But I don't know. They're just like, the beautiful backgrounds has become, you know, like wallpaper. Cause you're just destroying everything. So this part looks very cool, but what you'll see most of the time when people playing is that, that kind of stuff is destroying everything. Just destroying everything. No, no, you know, no real, no real challenge. It's like, as long as you're the same level or higher, easy. He says while his lips aren't moving. And we got couch co-op for your console, which is pretty cool. On here, so you guys can see the um, thing there. So that's the second player. We got crossplay. I mean, it looks like it's going to be a proper, uh, legitimate um, port. But yeah, I thought it was also quite uh, big for me. We ain't got much time left. Of announcements, we had two games for PlayStation VR 2. Nothing on PC for PlayStation VR 2, and um, oh, it's going early access. Wait, there is Path of XR 2 out already. What have people been playing? I've seen them playing. Was it Path of XR 1 or 2? I don't even remember. I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Silent Hill. That's more my speed. Excuse me, that's I'm more my sorry. speed. I, I was just it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. I'm looking for Silent Here Hill. Go. Here we I think go. You should stay away. This town, there's something wrong with it. Rupa team, don't screw up, please. Is it dangerous? Very dangerous. Maybe. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. Now, this in VR. I'm going. Blue team have done VR stuff before. 
No, you shouldn't be here. I think this would be VR. Oh shit, the Ness. Good dodge. Oh, two Ness. Good dodge. Not good dodge. Combat looks like it might be improved. Oh my. Yeah. All right. This is probably what got the chat on YouTube excited a little bit more. I promise. Tell they, him I'll be good, please. On the VR2 stuff, they will just put sleeping signs, sleeping emojis. Did that? What is that? The, the asylum bed dudes? No. Please. Looks good. We got a date on this one yet. There we go. We didn't we have a defensive date before, did we? October 8th. Oh wait, what does that say? Watch the Silent Hill transmission on the official Silent Hill YouTube immediately following Sony Inter Oh man, I might have to think if I want to do a video for that or not. Um, mm, Capcom maybe. announced this next maybe. game last December, offering just a glimpse of what's in store for their celebrated franchise. Today, I am so excited to Resident share Evil. the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. Oh. I'm not a Monster Hunter guy. I've tried. I've got. I bought two or three of the games. I played one a little bit. Okay. And I couldn't get to the end of the other ones. In fact, I think I got the Switch one and then touched it. Spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. I could and never get into get the whole. This is gonna be great. You have to attack the creatures and they don't attack you I until you do. And. Also, no health bars and all that stuff. It's little things. It's a different art style of this one. I don't know. But Capcom, it's for Capcom, it's massive. I have nothing ever get, nothing against people enjoying it. It's just not for me. Incredible. Up to now, I unfortunately. Heard this big One of them's it's like big on its Dragon's body. Dogma without bite. To me. I don't know. And this is not an exclusive either, anyway. Like, I think Silent Hill 2 is an exclusive, at least for now. On the PS5, and then it'll probably eventually end up on PC as well. But that most of these aren't exclusives as far as the PlayStation show goes. So this will this Capcom definitely won't be releasing it everywhere. I think they do sometimes console exclusive months on all right. But looks visually nice, different art style. I wonder if the creatures actually attack you first for once. Rather than you know, you seemingly just bothering them for research. Wow, he just hit a dead creature on him. This looks really interesting visually. Wow. What is, oh, I was to say, this baby just come and mess him up. But yeah, I'm not sure I like the style still of the uh, of Monster Hunter. I always liked the I always liked the concept, but just mentally the way it works, the way you go back and run around in these kind of zones, and they just kind of like slightly they update and you go back and it's I don't know, it's not for me. I've selected you. It's one of those games you have to play with some friends as well, or something. I think. Thank you, sir. Playing it solo is just like eh. Well, love to hear you guys. Thoughts? Are you excited about that? I mean, it looks. I like the visuals and stuff. The visual style. It looks kind of cool, actually. I don't think they're bad games. I don't think it's. I just think it's a style. I can't get my head into it mentally. So there you go. You got the cats. They like to cook dinner, by the way. The, the felines. So it's like cats in real life. Cats in real life like to cook dinner as well. You know. It's just that they just bias in what they cook. It's always fish. That team I, team I. Oh, is this? Um, didn't they say there was no VR version of Astrobot? No VR, no PlayStation VR two Astrobot game. Pretty sure people said that they they should add that, and it's disappointing. Or was there no PS five one? I can't remember. There was a PS5 one, he had the DualSense controller and the batteries and 
different things like that. So there was no PlayStation VR 2 toy thing or Astro thing. Anyway, it looks like an actual Astro game. Are we excited about this? I mean, they were fun, but uh, I don't know. Gonna get copro copyright for I'm an Astro Bar. I play with your mom that night. I'm an Astro Bar. I'm gonna use all the features of the DualSense controller and my crowbar. But no mode for PlayStation VR 2. I guess this has become kind of the PlayStation Mario, isn't it? Astro uh, rapping and everything. Oh. Is that PlayStation 5 Pro? Was that... Was that actually announced? PlayStation 5 Pro was announced, right? Yeah, it's been inspecting it, so there's nothing on that. Nothing on that, nothing on the PlayStation VR 2 PC. But we've got another Astro Bot Mario game, which looks like it's going to be really good. I've never finished one of these though, but I know that people love them, so I think it's cool. But um, it looks like it's wow. I've got some God of War uh, and other franchises going on there. It's cool. Um, I've never finished one of these, but I think um, I think people will be happy to have a, a full Astro Bot game rather than a demo. Yeah, it's literally a full game. Because it's usually a demo thing. And obviously an exclusive. Whether it will go to PC or not is not a whole other question, but... Be sure to visit PlayStation oh man, that's it. for more on the games you just saw. As know. well as PlayStation.com for the latest on Days of Play. This global celebration man. runs through June 12th. With deals on PlayStation Store. Okay, well, how do we how do we feel about this overall, guys? And much more. First, are you interested, excited about Astro Bot? I don't know. I think it's cool. Never finished one, so I can't say, you know. But this is what was announced. It's about to finish. Let's go through. Um, let's get some ambiance. All right. Um, so Concord. That's their live service thing. Um. It's going on PlayStation 5 and PC. Just like Helldivers 2, I guess. I imagine you're going to need a PlayStation account for that, definitely. Can't remember. It was 2024 when you asked what's coming out. Are you guys excited about that? Do you care? It looked nice. Um, it looks like it was, uh, like I said, less cartoony of the games of its kind. The story part sold it way more, though, than, uh, than the gameplay. The game, the video at the beginning made it feel like it was a single, had a single player aspect to it with a story and a world. But we're going to just get basically them chilling in the um, the crib like it's friends sitcom situation when you come back to the game. So that's kind of disappointing that you're not only getting that. But it looks like it's going to be a solid one for Sony if they can make sure that it works correctly and everything. I mean, Astro Bot, Astro Bot is Mario. It's the Mario of PlayStation, but he's getting a, he's getting a full game. Is he a he? I don't know. Um, but you've always enjoyed the demos of that. So a full game, that should be pretty. Wait a minute. Yeah, I suppose you're going to have to pay for that, right? They were always free. You guys want to pay for an Astro Bot game? A full-blown game? There wasn't a, a full-blown separate Astro Bot game until now. Was there? I was able to call it something else, like... Astro Bot 5 or something. So yeah. That's those are always fun. You got like little it usually utilizes all the features of the PlayStation console. So there was one way you could, you know, utilize all the controller functions, but they didn't have anything for the PlayStation VR 2 as far as like you get a bunch of demos for the PlayStation VR 1 and different things like that. If I remember rightly in the package. 
a starter kit almost and they didn't have it this time and we still don't have that um so that's uh, one of the surprises i suppose i don't know how to feel about it as far as the audience reaction though so let me know what you guys thought on that if you are excited and care um ragnarok it's it's god of war you should be simple men and women you see god of war you buy so not really much surprises there on that one uh, Monster Hunter, eh. if you love it, I mean, it looks interesting visually, but I, like I said, I've said my my thing with that already. That I'm, I'm, I haven't really gotten to. I've bought too many Monster Hunters and not played them and or finished them. I don't think they're fun single player. I, I don't like the lack of health bar. I don't like the um kind of you have to attack the enemy first all the time. I think that's kind of weird. I don't really like the way the world is kind of segmented off in these segmented areas. You go back and forth and and uh, just feels a little bit. I think I'd prefer a more co cohesive campaign, you know, rather than this kind of weird multiplayer hybrid. Um, Until Dawn. Well, it's a good game if you're into that type of game. Um problem is i've seen it played multiple times just before i got my ps4 because i was watching a whole bunch of the big playstation you know games at the time lusting over all these games i wasn't able to play because i didn't have a ps3 and so forth so i watched all those all these campaign games including until dawn and um you know last of us and that kind of thing type of game that you don't really play once you've seen the story already necessarily and i've seen kind of all the in outcomes and in in incomes outcomes and stuff so I'm not super excited about it being on PC or PS5, but I think it's good because other people can get to enjoy it, I suppose. But I think we we knew about that ages ago as well. So that's one of the least surprising things as well. So these two are not surprising. This one, Monster Hunter Wilds, is not Monster Hunter Wilds is not exclusive. Anyways, it might be exclusive on the console for a bit, maybe, but it's going to be on PC in other places. So it's like you know whatever. Until Dawn going on PC and PS5, cool. Ragnarok, very cool, but not surprising. Um, but it'll probably look really nice on the PC. I don't think I can wait till September unless I actually manage to not play and finish it before then. Um, Concord, like I said already. Yeah. Um, Dynasty Warriors Origin, again. Don't think it's an exclusive. So, you know, in that way, it's like who cares. But as far as the game's concerned, it looks cool. I've never played the Dynasty Warriors, I don't think. Or maybe I have. There's so many of them normally, though, isn't it? There's like eight Dynasty Warrior games. I don't know. But it's interesting looking. I think I could get into Dynasty Warriors Origins and be up 5,000 people on the screen. Why not? And um, while leading an army. That one's kind of cool. Silent Hill 2, um, probably among this lot. Among all of this lot, for me, is probably the most exciting one. All right, so, yeah, Silent Hill and Dynasty Warriors Origins could be interesting, but that's Silent Hill 2 is definitely my, my one for me at that bunch on the screen. Obviously, like I said, Ragnarok is amazing anyway, but like in terms of new stuff. So, what else do we have here? As far as the non-VR is concerned, looking at the stuff again, so I can remind myself here. Hmm. Nothing's exclusive. Again, nothing's exclusive. Well, apart from Silent Hill. So we're giving an extra point for Silent Hill. Oh, Concord as well, I suppose. That's going to go on a PC. Mm, and try not to be overly biased. Just basing it on what I care about. What about what you guys might care about as well? She... I guess we'll go with... I'm going to give it a... Silent Hill thing brought it up a bit to be fair. If it was no Silent Hill there, it'd be, be like, like five or below. I feel I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a five point five out of ten on the non VR side of things. Cause we knew about Until Dawn, we knew God of Ragnarok was gonna come. Monster Hunter was it if if it's even a console I think they did console exclusives for a year or with Sony before, so maybe it's console, console exclusive for a year, but you know, so otherwise, who cares? Dynasty Warriors 
Origins is not it's not going to be an exclusive or any kind, I don't think. And they're both 2025 anyways. Concord is only care about it if it if you're into Overwatch stuff and it's going to depend on how it plays and how they support it. And I think they oversell the story part of it because it's 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 a glorified PvP potentially when it, when it, when all said and done. Astro Bot, maybe that's something that would raise it up for people. Actually, forgetting about that. So maybe it's could be six out of ten because of that. Being generous would be six out of ten, I guess. Do we give it a six out of ten for these two? It's kind of tough. I don't know. I don't know how people care. How much people care about the Astro Bot side of things. Um I'm gonna stick with five point five. But it could be six, depending on you, if you care about that that part of it, and then therefore like an overall rating for it, we gave one four, VR four, non VR five point five. So mm, overall, then it looks like a six, six and a half. I think I'll give it six overall for the whole thing. So yeah. There you go. Let's look at some of the comments here. Let's look at some of the comments. See how off I am of the buzz or not. Uh, PlayStation should honestly just stop working on live service games. 1.8k in likes from Spunks there. Um, what else we got? Shiny Find. 100% uh, not interested in Concord. Oh, man. Concord, a game nobody asks for and nobody will play six months post launch. That's the potential of those kind of games as well. If you don't get it right, no one play. And that's the that's the that's the thing is it's always going to be judged on how long people are playing them for and how much people are playing them. <sighs> it's a shame. I think people are are slightly off put by live service games because of um especially because of um the Justice League thing. Killer Justice League thing was so awful. At least in my opinion, it just looks so boring. It looks so boring, and how you can make such an open world that's so boring and bland looking despite colorful. Anyway, um, so uh, Arthur Fernandez says, Sony, understand we want games focused on single player narrative and not multiplayer service games. I mean, I think that's what a lot of what Sony's bought then bought their PlayStation name on, isn't it? So that makes sense. Oh yeah, I forgot there was no Bloodborne. By Cooking Source here, it says, all right, Bloodborne fans, time to get our clown makeup ready. <laughs> this was before this show even started up because it says 21 hours. So I'm going to refresh if we can get some newer responses here. We should have some from some responses coming in. Just to get the vibe. So I think my rating is going to be about right. And it looks like the vibe overall is 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 a bit like average. Uh, I'm gonna tick that one. Yeah, not really crazy about the live service games thing, really. Even if Hell Divers Two is meant to be good, I don't, I don't, I don't really think it's. Um, yeah, I think they can, you know, calm down with that. Um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to tick that one publicly. It's funny though, what Jason said there about no one's gonna be playing it in six months. Um, is there any other newer ones there? Here we go. Here's a new one. There's Sony. The games as a service model is not sustainable. We don't want 20 of them every announcement showcase. Can't you drop it at least one or two quality single player experiences this gen? Well, there's there is um blood there is um bloodborne. There is a wish in it, right? There is um Silent Hill 2 was your one or two there, buddy, I guess. It is this gen. Temporal experiences like you used to be known for. The problem is as well. I is that oh right, that's that they must be watching it. I was gonna say as a state of play for Silent Hill. That's a residence, residence of evil. That's what I would be doing with the channel of um the the, the non VR channel if I was smart, probably. The integer channel. Anyway, we'll probably check that out, a separate video. But um yeah, it's um I don't lose the line now. It's um it's a different time with development now. I mean, what I was saying, I said earlier in this video, is that if, if PlayStation, um, if, or well, why am I looking at my email <laughs> while I'm looking at the thing? I just realized what I was doing here. Um, if, um, if Final Fantasy VII Rebirth hasn't sold well enough, 
and they're now making up we're well, making stories up about how we make the third part might be not come out or something crazy we can't say anything about live service games at that point then you know it's up to us this is why it's so important that we foster a and we pay enough we pay a lot of money as it is but it's very important to foster a attitude of buying i don't know about all this game pass stuff sometimes because i think maybe it's killing a little bit of this elza things but i hope we don't get i hope we don't end up not getting final fantasy's next part or end up getting like a goofy live service version or something because every publisher is going to make this excuse if their sales don't come out as planned and what i've played of final fantasy 7 rebirth so far is complete and absolute quality there's potential for it to be kind of open worldy, busy worky. So I'm still not ready to do a complete review rating yet. Two months later, you know, I'm always behind. But, you know, it looks like they've put a lot of effort in. So I don't feel like it should be anything that is undersell underselling. It underselling is, and it underselling is one of my favorite series of all time, especially Seven. Hurts my heart. I'm not going to lie. And if that's the case, I don't know if it's because they spend too much money or if it's costing too much money to make games. I don't know if they need AI to save it or something. But if, they, if that's the case, we can't complain about live service games afterwards if it just costs too much to make these things. You know? That's the reality. It sucks. Anyway, my expectation this is uh, Mark Mills, is it? Let me let's use the power of technology and zoom in these uh, chats a little bit here so I can actually see them uh, straining my eyes on my 4, 4K television. Mark Mills says, my expectations were low and I am still disappointed. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is to these shows. I think with like E3, well, E3 was every year. E3 cost a lot of money, I know that. And I also know it's not viable because of that. And also I know there was lots of problems with like people getting embarrassed and stuff with them. Um, you know, fails and that. And it was funny sometimes. I remember that. I'll never forget that Konami, that Konami one. Oh, man. I missed those. <laughs> I missed those cringy moments. That's why the Game Awards is the new E3 in a way. Because it's like you might get something really cringy or emotional. But um, I think it's just games take too long to make now. Too much money. And because they take too long to make and too much money. Unless AI changes it ethically. I think it's going to be difficult for us to get that period of E3 where you had new and exciting things every year. You know, it's difficult now. It takes like anything from, it could take like four years just to make anything at these levels, much less people's expectations. And that's not even including what you usually will have as a problem with it. I tell you what, their numbers there of 1,000 people watching is impressive. Just wanted to say they're in the state of play. Good job on Residents of Evil there, because I've seen I've seen a lot of I've been in a lot of YouTube streams. I ain't seen many that's like a thousand. They're like a couple of hundred at best. I I digress and get distracted. But yes, yeah, half of them to release games quickly enough now, it seems. And it costs too much money. In a world where you have a quality game that's highly rated like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And we're talking about it being a financial disappointment. We've got to take that into consideration. It's hot. That's pretty rough. Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh, you know, it's in the browser. I was about to say, I got. I just realized I've got music playing, but it's not in the channel of my audio, but it is it's in the browser. So you guys will hear it without me doing any mad editing, potentially. I still have to edit this for, actually. Probably. Anyways, um... Yeah, a couple more comments. Uh, a 10 second countdown for a 30 second countdown isn't saying that is true. I didn't get that either. Astro but actually stole the show and Sony even knew it would. Well, I don't know. Let's see how much. Yeah, Bloodborne. No Bloodborne. No Bloodborne, yeah. Sony should be ashamed at that state of play. <laughs> I think it's really hard as well because how do you set expectations? For these things now that was you know usually we get these shows in june which is around the e3 period of time or on the 31st of uh, may well now it was the 30th of may they did it because past 12 now 
And uh, oh, we got a heavy hit here, 118k subs. Honestly, I'm disappointed. Yeah, I, I have that feeling overall as well. It wasn't great, was it? I mean, I didn't expect it to be. But I thought there would be at least maybe one thing. You see, I think what it is with these shows. I don't think you're, if you're Sony, if you're a PlayStation. I don't think you can really do these kind of shows. If you don't have something like at least one thing that is a banger. And if you don't have at least one thing that's a banger, maybe the strategy is to just do it like just do separate trailers and not do a show. I don't know. Because there's a lot of negative, a lot of negative comments here. You're spending a necessary amount of time promoting Concord. There's a lot of like hate for Concord and, and live service games. The game industry condensed in one video. Souls likes games as a service. Remake supports. You know what? Gets nuts, or is it gets and guts? Yeah, that guy's not wrong, you know. I didn't even think about the fact that that that, that the one that is exciting is a remake as well. To be fair, it's not a new game. And yeah, there was a lot of Souls likes in there. I mean, that one Soul that looked really cool though. To be fair, but ah uh, man, it is true. It's a he makes a good point. He or she. Uh, I spent five minutes skimming through this, and I still feel like I wasted my time. I'm just putting because it it's funny. Um, uh, Doom Slayer. I feel like the patchy. I feel like patchy the pirate after watching the super secret SpongeBob episode. I generally had to say that was it. Yeah, funny, funny. Oh, here we go. Someone's done a nice thing for us here. Oh yeah, Ballad of Antara. Yeah, that one looks interesting. Why was that one even in there? It wasn't even in their list for me to. And where the winds meet was another Souls like in it. So it was two like souls like, but they do look similar because you end up saying as it goes to Sushima as again, even though it goes to Sushima is not a souls like, but you know what I mean? There's an uncanny valley about a lot of games now as well. That they could just as easily be DLC as they are new games. But um, yeah, this guy didn't even bother put Concord, just put Firewalk and said that, and then said, let me go and have lunch. Um, yeah. My expectations were zero, and I was still second-hand embarrassed by this. Oh, man. Pete Parker. These companies never learn that no one wants to see pre-rendered cinematic trailers. Yeah, it's, it looked like it was either in-engine in or pre-rendered. And it made the, it sold the game, but the problem was it wasn't, that wasn't the game. FPS clones do we need? Where's the real state? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to wrap this up. I'm hearing noise in the kitchen coming from my room. Yeah, that was the PlayStation State of Play. I gave it a six. Well, I gave it a six and a half. No, six. I gave it a six, didn't I? Overall. But that's because I'm interested in VR stuff. I, I, now I feel too generous. Did I give it a six? I gave them individually very low scores anyway. I gave it like a four. How did it end up being going from a four net into a six? To that? I'm confused now. I'm confused what my score is. Overall, is like average to underwhelming, basically. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Ecstatic or disappointed? Man. I don't know. These things are hard these days now. Yeah. <sighs>